DVD region codes are a digital rights management technique designed to allow film distributors to control aspects of a release, including content, release date, and price, according to the region. This is achieved by way of region lock DVD players, which will play back only DVDs encoded to their region. The American DVD Copy Control Association also requires that DVD player manufacturers incorporate the regional playback control system. However, region-free DVD players, which ignore region coding, are also commercially available, and many DVD players can be modified to be region-free, allowing playback of all discs. DVDs may use one code, a combination of codes, every code or no codes. Region codes and countries, DVDs sold in the Baltic states use both region 2 and 5 codes. Region 0 is widely used by China and the Philippines. DVDs in Hispanophone Latin America use both the region 1 and region 4 codes. Most DVDs in India combine the region 2, region 4, and region 5 codes. Indian Disney discs contain only the region 3 code. European Region 2 DVDs may be subcoded D1 to D4. These are the United Kingdom Euro only releases. D2 and D3 are not sold in the UK and Ireland. D4 are distributed throughout Europe. Any combination of regions can be applied to a single disc. For example, a DVD designated Region 2 quarters is suitable for playback in Western Europe, Oceania, and any other Region 2 or Region 4 area so-called Region Zero, and all discs are meant to be playable worldwide. The term Region Zero also describes the DVD players designed or modified to incorporate Regions 1 or Euro 6, thereby providing compatibility with most discs, regardless of region. This apparent solution was popular in the early days of the DVD format, but studios quickly responded by adjusting discs to refuse to play in such machines. This system is known as regional coding enhancement. Region code enhanced, region code enhanced, also known as just RCE, or REA, was a retroactive attempt to prevent the playing of one region's discs in another region, even if the disc was played in a region-free player. The scheme was deployed on only a handful of discs. The disc contained the main program material region coded as region 1 but it also contained a short video loop of a map of the world showing the regions, which was coded as Region 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The intention was that when the disc was played in a non-Region 1 player, the player would default to playing the material for its native region. This played the aforementioned video loop of a map, which was impossible to escape from, as the user controls were disabled. However, the scheme was fundamentally flawed as a region-free player tries to play a disc using the last region that worked with the previously inserted disc. If it cannot play the disc, then it tries another region until one is found that works. RCE could thus be defeated by briefly playing a normal region 1 disc, and then inserting the RCE-protected region 1 disc, which would now play. RCE caused a few problems with genuine region 1 players. As of 2007 many multi-region DVD players defeated regional lockout and RCE by automatically identifying and matching a disc's region code and or allowing the user to manually select a particular region. Some manufacturers of DVD players now freely supply information on how to disable regional lockout, and on some recent models, it appears to be disabled by default. Computer programs such as DVD Shrink can make copies of region-coded DVDs without RCE restriction. Purpose Another purpose is controlling release dates. A practice of movie marketing threatened by the advent of digital home video is to release a movie to cinemas, and then for general sale, later in some countries than in others. This is common partly because releasing a movie at the same time worldwide can be prohibitively expensive. Videotapes were inherently regional since formats had to match those of the encoding system used by television stations in that particular region, such as NTSC and PAL, although from early 1990s PAL machines increasingly offered NTSC playback. DVDs are less restricted in this sense, and region coding allows movie studios to better control the global release dates of DVDs. 
One other purpose of region coding is to prevent release of movies that could be offensive in such regions for cultural, religious, and political reasons. Region coding helps prevent release of such films in sensitive territories. Finally, the copyright in some titles has different owners in different territories. Region coding allows copyright holders to prevent a DVD from being purchased from a region from which they do not derive royalties. PAL SECAM vs NTSC, DVDs are also formatted for use on two conflicting regional television systems, 480i-60 Hz and 576i-50 Hz, which in analog contexts are often referred to as 525-60 and 625-50 respectively. Strictly speaking, PAL and SECAM are analog color television signal formats which have no relevance in the digital domain. However, the DVD system was originally designed to encode the information necessary to reproduce signals in these formats, and the terms continue to be used as a method of identifying refresh rates and vertical resolution. However, an NTSC, PAL, or SECAM DVD player that is one or more analog composite video output will only produce NTSC, PAL or SECAM signals, respectively, from those outputs, and may only play DVDs identified with the corresponding format. NTSC is the analog TV format historically associated with the United States, Canada, Japan, South Korea, Mexico, Philippines, Taiwan, and other countries. PAL is the analog color TV format historically associated with most of Europe, most of Africa, China, India, Australia, New Zealand, Israel, North Korea, and other countries. SECAM, while using the same resolution and refresh rate as PAL, is a distinct format which uses a very different system of color encoding. Some DVD players can only play discs identified as NTSC. PAL or SECAM, while others can play multiple standards. In general, it is easier for consumers in PAL or SECAM countries to view NTSC DVDs than vice versa. Almost all DVD players sold in PAL or SECAM countries are capable of playing both kinds of discs, and most modern PAL TVs can handle the converted signal a euro. However, most NTSC players cannot play PAL discs and most NTSC TVs do not accept 576i video signals as used on PAL second DVDs. Those in NTSC countries, such as the United States, generally require both a region-free, multi-standard player and a multi-standard television to view PAL discs, or a converter box, whereas those in PAL countries generally require only a region-free player to view NTSC discs. There are also differences in pixel aspect ratio and display frame rate. Again, NTSC discs can be played on most DVD systems worldwide, while PAL discs play on very few players outside of PAL or CCAM countries. Most computer-based DVD software and hardware can play both NTSC and PAL video and both audio standards. A Euro NTSC discs may be output from a PAL DVD player in three different ways, using a non-chromal encoded format such as a GBSC ART or YPBPR component video. Using PAL 60 encoded composite video S video Euro a hybrid system which uses NTSC's 525-60 line format along with PAL's chroma subcarrier, using NTSC encoded composite video S video. Implementations of region codes, standalone DVD players, usually a configuration flag is set in each player's firmware at the factory. This flag holds the region number that the machine is allowed to play. Region free players are DVD players shipped without the ability to enforce regional lockout, or without this flag set. However, if the player is not region free, it can often be unlocked with an unlock code entered via the remote control. This code simply allows the user to change the factory set configuration flag to another region, or to the special region zero. Once unlocked this way, the DVD player allows the owner to watch DVDs from any region. Many websites exist on the internet offering these codes, often known informally as hacks. Many websites provide instructions for different models of standalone DVD players, 
to hack, and their factory codes. Computer DVD drives Older DVD drives use a PC-1 firmware, which means the drive allows DVDs from any region to play. Newer drives use a PC-2 firmware, which enforces the DVD region coding at the hardware level. These drives can often be reflashed or hacked with a PC-1 firmware, effectively making the drive region free. This may void the drive warranty. Some drives may come set as region free, so the user is expected to assign their region when they buy it. In this case, some DVD programs may prompt the user to select a region, while others may actually assign the region automatically based on the locale set in the operating system. In most computer drives, users are allowed to change the region code up to five times. If the number of allowances reaches zero, the region last used will be permanent even if the drive is transferred to another computer. This limit is built into the drive's controller software, called firmware. Resetting the firmware count can be done with first or third party software tools, or by reflashing to a PC-1 firmware. Since some software does not work correctly with our PC-1 drives, there is also the option of reflashing the drive with a so-called auto-reset firmware. This firmware appears as a PC-2 firmware to software, but will reset the region changes counter whenever power is cycled, reverting to the state of a drive that has never had its region code changed. Software DVD players, most freeware and open source DVD players, such as VLC, ignore region coding. VLC, for example, does not attempt to enforce region coding. However, it requires access to the DVD's raw data to overcome CSS encryption and such access may not be available on some drives with a PC-2 firmware when playing a disk from a different region than the region to which the drive is locked. Most commercial players are locked to a region code, but can be easily changed with software. Other software, known as DVD region killers, transparently remove the DVD region code from the software player. Some can also work around locked to PC-2 firmware. Circumvention the region coding of a DVD can be circumvented by making a copy that adds flags for all region codes, creating an all-region DVD. DVD backup software can do this, and some can also remove macrovision, CSS, and disabled user operations. In common region lock DVDs, the region code is stored in the file video TSIFO, byte offsets 34 and 35. The eight regions each correspond to a value which is a power of 2, region 1 corresponds to 1, region 2 to 2, region 3 to 4, and so on through region 8, which corresponds to 128. The values of each region that the disk is not encoded for are added together to give the value in the file. For example, a disk that is encoded for region 1 but not regions 2 a Euro 8 will have the value 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128 equals 254. A disk encoded for regions 1, 2 and 4 will have the value 4 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128 equals 244. A region free or a CE protected DVD will carry the value 0, since no regions are excluded. Video game consoles, the XBOX, XBOX 360, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 consoles are all region locked for DVD playback. The PlayStation 2 can be modified to have its regional locking disabled through the use of mod chips. Although region locked on film DVDs and film Blu-ray discs, the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 and XBOX 1 are region free for video games. Blu-ray disc region codes. Blu-ray discs use a much simpler region code system than DVD with only three regions, labeled A, B and C, UMD region codes. For the UMD, a disc type used for the PlayStation Portable, UMD movies are region locked, and use roughly the same regions as DVDs do, but UMD video games are region free. Criticism and legal concerns Region code enforcement has been discussed as a possible violation of World Trade Organization free trade agreements or competition law. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission has warned that DVD players that enforce region coding may violate their Competition and Consumer Act 2010. Under New Zealand copyright law, 
DVD region codes and the mechanisms in DVD players to enforce them have no legal protection. The practice has also been criticized by the European Commission which as of March 14, 2001 is investigating whether the resulting price discrimination amounts to a violation of EU competition law. The Washington Post has highlighted how DVD region coding has been a major inconvenience for travelers who wish to legally purchase DVDs abroad and return with them to their countries of origin, students of foreign languages, immigrants who want to watch films from their homeland and foreign film enthusiasts. Another criticism is that region coding allows for local censorship. For example, the Region 1 DVD of the drama film Eyes Wide Shut, directed by Stanley Kubrick, contains the digital manipulations necessary for the film to secure an MPAA rating, whereas these manipulations are not evident in non-Euro Region 1 discs. See also Broadcast Television Systems, DVD Copy Control Association, Regional Lockout References External links, DVD Region Information with regards to RCE from Home Theatre Info, Region Coding, Explanations and Help from the CT Code Source, DVD Code Region Mapping from the Home of DVD Unlocks, Amazon.co.uk DVD Regions Guide, Multi-Region Guide.